In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Christmas tree marble run. If you haven't yet, you can get the files from jbvcreative.com. All the files for this model are fully 3D printable except for the quarter inch ball bearings. Once you got those, you're good to go. Start by grabbing your hex shaft and that will slot into the bigger hole on the top of the stand and then right through to the other hole. Hold it from the back like this and then you can slide the bevel gear spur gear combination onto the end of that. Then your crank piece goes after that. Then you can secure that with a C clamp and then grab the knob for the crank. That goes on the other side of the crank. Slide into place. Drop a C clamp onto that. Good to go. Next, we're going to grab the long shaft with the hole in the top of it. That goes in through the hole in the top of the stand. Push it all the way in and then hold it from the bottom and you can slide the tree top onto the end of that and see clamp it into place. Now grab your sprocket and hold it in place right here and then you can use the shaft on the end of the spur gear to push through there. But before you push it all the way through, you need to grab one of these spacers and finagle it into place on the end of that shaft just like this and then you can push it all the way through and it's got to look like that and then if it does C clamp it into place repeat the process for the bottom sprocket slide the shaft in grab the spacer before pushing it all the way through figure out how you're gonna get that into place and then push the shaft all the way through to the other side. You can see I'm struggling a little bit, but you just gotta make sure that the hex is lined up. And then you can see clamp that into place as well. Next, let's build the chain. So grab your five segment piece, slot one of these pieces onto the end of it, and then just repeat that one after the other. And I believe we need about 38 links on this chain. Now grab your stand with the crank on the right and make sure the chain links are oriented with the hooks up and then you just slot that over top of the top sprocket and kind of maneuver it so it's halfway down the other side. And you can bring the other side around the bottom sprocket and connect them in the middle. Slot the whole stand piece right into the base. And then make sure you push it all the way down so the bottom pieces are right flush against the bottom of the base. Now grab your support pieces and start slotting them into the holes on the side of the stand one by one going from the smallest one to the biggest one. And then the last one with this little piece sticking out of the side of it goes on the other side. Now it's time to build the track. So grab the smallest track segment and you kind of have to twist it and bend it around the stand, but it's okay, it's designed to do this. So once you have it around the stand, it's gonna kind of sit in this orientation. So grab a couple of the small five millimeter pins, slide them through. This one you might have to fight a little bit to get in, but it does get in. And then grab this whale looking piece and that will slide onto the other side. And on your version, there's gonna be a little hook on the stand and a hole in the bottom of the whale. And then you're gonna have to slot some C-clamps onto this. I'm using pliers or tweezers, but you don't really need to. You can kind of fight it till it goes in. Then you're just gonna repeat this process the whole way down, going from the smallest to the biggest. Twist the track into place, two pins, C-clamp, and then for the last one, you're gonna slot two pins onto one side, two pins onto the other side, then C-clamp it into place, and we're good to go. Now it's time for the best part. Drop the ball bearings into the base and just start cranking away. 
Merry Christmas, everyone.